See, now that in the play with this place, it's a play show at least you return to your usual self. So, it's not so scary here anymore. I was scared they're evil. Oh, come on. That's right, I wasn't. Yeah, whatever. I was angry. I really feel hurt because of Lisa, if not for me. She would have still been damn well in damn mind. Where are you going? She asks me the last self assumed voice as I turn around and walk slowly to the camp. Back to camp. Hey! Lisa jumped up right away and started to walk next to me. For a moment, I wanted to say something to me, but I wasn't ready to start and ready to, ready to start the next argument. We found the path we had taken before surprisingly fast over the two holes we fall into. It was only about 200 meters from the old camp. I stopped at the squad and turned to Lisa. Well, well. She looked unconditionally ever confused. Then, sure. Deep inside, I wanted to yell at her to scull her ever to and suit her. On the other hand, I wanted to have a meaningful conversation. In the end, I just kept silence, turning around and slowly heading towards the large cabin. Your cabin, but something persistently distracted the quiet of the night. I kept listening to it and reco- I mean, re, re that it was the snoring. A shrink who was sleeping peacefully on the bench. Hey! I call Lisa who hasn't walked too far away. Get up, you! Shrink so slowly come to his senses and stare at us blankly. Oh, is it morning already? Morning? Yeah, sure. Sometimes one app feel things later. Of course, it's all star in the brain, then the cur curry comes through the natural link. Really, tra transmit the common to the body. But sometimes the sex face consciousness just work faster than the consciousness. That's exactly why my fist swing and smack shrink in the guts. It was only then that I realized what I'd done. He catched quietly to catch his breath and wear the pain on the branch. What the hell was all of that about? I already felt bad about it. I shouldn't have treated him so rough. What are you- what are you talking about? Fring looked at me in shock. In the mines. What mines? Wait, 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 hold on. Come on. It's, it, um... You turn your hand completely confused. And why am I here? And why are you here? Stop fooling around. Lisa appeared into the conversation, ma'am. You nearly killed me there, and now you're going to pretend like nothing happened. What ha- what happened? You really don't remember. I think. Okay, so what is the last thing do I- I mean, do remember? Shrink tried to concern. Well, I was on my way to the old camp in the morning. I knew I couldn't find some head- Headway for the robot there, so. So. And that's all. I don't recall anything since then. Then I just woke up here. I let a heavy sigh as I turn away. Oh my lord. Well, go ahead and sweet dream. <laughs> hey, where are you? I know at least is that the way to hold this solid cabin. Right, like, dude, she stayed in Argo with Shrink. Bro, you stay Argo with Shrink. I gotta go to bed. Stay in the, this, oh. Oh, I forgot. I always, now, for every time I start reading, I keep forgetting that, um, the music's up on. I mean, you guys can still hear the music. To me, I just, hear a little bit of music, but I had to cut it down so you guys can hear my voice. I sat in the disc chair, looked up at the stars. This night's 
they seem to be brighter than that usual. Perhaps they seem so because not too long ago my only source of light was a German flashlight in that torch. The stars are brighter than a flashlight, obviously a torch. Most of stars, I guess, are ever brighter than the sun, but they so far away. So why have you come? I asked without ever turning my head. At least the footsteps could be heard well in advance and silence of night. Well, I... What? Did Shrink, what did Shrink say? He said that... He doesn't remember anything, that it's unscientific fiction and nonsense like that. I think he really doesn't remember because of shock and distress. Who am I to say? I was in the same boat not too long ago. I'm still in thought. Do I have amnesia? Well then, why did you come here? Then again, I guess I knew the answer. That's exactly why I hadn't gone to sleep, but waited for her here. Well, I... Lisa sat down next to me. Kind of want to thank you after all. Down there, you... That you didn't know. No problem. Is Aunt Jelly led back? Well, I mean, well, alright then. She so got up and was going... I mean, was gone... Been gone to go. You think that I'm angry with you? I'm not. Everything's okay. I didn't actually think that. Lisa got warmed up. Fine then. Okay. Yeah. Then, just go already. I sent Kylie away my hand. I go where I want to. <laughs> so now, you don't want to. Okay, we get it. I want to. Well, is something private you from going? Move. Lisa stepped her foot and quickly walked away from the Lear Goblin. I took a deep breath and stood up. Maya was terrifiedly dizzy from figures. Well, at least old Asaba is asleep already. I won't have to explain anything. However, it wasn't that easy. Oh, fuck. The cavalier was staring in the middle of the room and was obviously prepared for an electric conversation. Or rather, for a disbelief. What do you care to explain? What's the matter? In fact, you didn't mind when we were going to search for Shrink. And what have you found? I mean, what? Have you found him? It looks like she was more concerned about me coming back late than the fact of losing pioneers. Yes, we have. By the way, why are you staying here in the darkness? What? I say, why in the darkness? Because it's time to sleep? I couldn't agree with her more, though I was sadly surprised with such a disparate mood swing. It just barely slammed to my bed, collapsed on it without undressing. But still, Lisa, Lisa, I just did know what I should think of her. It wasn't because she'd been acting strange regularly. No, on the contrary, all her behavior was quite consumed and unrestimated. Ever her return to thank me, I love Lisa much more than anything else that had happened tonight. Though if you get down to it, there was nothing supernatural about it. Uncomfortable, un I mean... Uncomfortable, sure. Frying. Ever spilled chill, sure. Something realized to my, to my arrival here, hardly. There, I mean, three thoughts pulled me to sleep. I think I should pray tonight. I think I should pray. Shoot. Yeah. Okay, what was this? Oh, day five. Can I skip? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Oh, yeah, we peeped in the woods and other stuff. Okay, um... Mm. New Year. 
here. So let's just. So let's just go to the infirmary first. Skip, guys. CG. I don't know, just go. You want to know? You want to know? Just because this is like. Um. Lisa route. What's it go with Lily? But we skip. Get the QCG. Whatever. Yep, I try my best. Thanks to girls. Thanks to girls. We help from the girls. Um. Did that. The camp. Um. The mill. Infirmary. Fireberry. Shit. And here comes choice. So this time, I think this is our, like, our final choice or something. So. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, final choice. So this time we picked stay on guard. And that's crazy because we kept picking that. So I'm guessing that was the right answer. So I'm guessing it really didn't matter which right answer you picked the character. It's matter like you got more points in that character. So, alright. Okay, scan guard, like we did always. You see what they're arguing about? Only Lily and Lisa stood out in the monster. Well, of course, it was quite natural for Lisa to be arguing with someone like that. But hearing Lily talk in a raising voice, I come clearly, silently, trying to understand what was going on. No, you listen to me. Think, think whatever you want. I say everything. It looks serious. I try as hard as I could to not attend a attention so I look like I, just, I am just staying there with no intention of listening in on them. There's nothing to think about. Everything is clear as day. Don't try to win me around your little finger like that. I know you too well. Why, of course you know everything. Then why won't you tell him yourself? Who was getting angry? That alone was really weird. Ever consider that I did know, know what they were arguing about. That's none of your business. Lisa Shadow turned around and her eyes met mine. Second later, Lily gave me a look at well. The girl stood there and confused for some time. You. You. In. Drop. Me? Oh, no, 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 I would just like passing by? <laughs> Put on the best smile I had, but it did seem to help much. Who, who's that? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, um, by the way, today he was peeping at me. Wait, wait, what? Hold up, but we already did this. <laughs> Lisa gave a mischievous smile. Lily looked at me, questionable. First of all, why would she believe this This is a fox story? I didn't peek. You know quite well that it was accident. Allah should be the one to blame. Sure it was. Tell that to the cops. It seems like my excuse was not working. Did you like my boobs? Okay, you wanna know, um, this is too far. I get maybe in Lily's route, you Kylie made this worse, but this is much more worser. <laughs> if I say, like, did you like my boobs? It's like... <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> what the hell? I shiver right on my spot. Ray, oh god! Oh god, you made me uncomfortable. You made me get so uncomfortable. Is that. Lily, like, there's no need for you to be that shocking anymore. True? Lily, you like them being proper. Well, you see, it was an accident. I didn't see anything there. You did well. I can show you again. Lisa cried in anger. I didn't know what to say. Whoa. You see, I told you. No, no. 
Lily started to mumble or rub away a moment later. Okay, so this time Lily's gone. <laughs> Wait, what happened? A shower after her. See what you did? That girl's upset now. To give a spiteful smile. First of all, it wasn't me who upset her second. I don't have any idea what you two were arguing about. I was running out of patience. Why should I tell you? I see. It seemed like she thought that our talk was over and was about to leave. I grabbed her arm. Uh, hand. Reachable. Lisa glared at me in fear, but didn't say anything. I was angry at that moment. Really angry. First, I was weirdly... Was re really energized that Lily was upset because of me. Ever though, I was actually kind of guilt. Second, I was raging by Lisa insults. Third, I was so tired that I was about to lose my temper at the smallest thing. Happy now? I usually point into the darkness where Lily had ran off. You only seem to have the guts to bomb emotionals and hit innocent girls. Ooh! She looked wryly and sadly and confused at the same time. See, see herself. Couldn't hurt anyone. You just don't know. You just don't. What? Wait, wait, wait. She says, hey, hold up. Hold up. I know we're roasting her. No, wait, what? She herself couldn't hurt anyone. You don't know her. The only. Wait, wait. The, okay. The only true fear is that I don't know her too well, but I'm really. Positive that she would hurt anyone that your job. We stood in silence for some time. Held Lisa a hand and didn't know what to do next. The resolve browned above me all by itself. You have to go and apologize. Why the hell should I? Lisa tried to act as interesting as always, but it wasn't going to work this time. Can I say so? I refused to hear any objections and drag her to the side of the bonfire. Old Asama, I'm sorry we had some in quite in any in del business to deal with, so we had to leave our life. I kind of awfully tried to chat, but I didn't listen and head after Lily and pulled Lisa along with me. Oh, wow. After some time, I released her, uh, released her hand. Any attentions? All the praise arguments have left Lil Lisa's face long ago. If you want me to come with you, I will, but I have nothing to apologize for. I told her the truth. I will see about that then. I cut her short. We have been walking in silence till we enter the camp. We come to the squad and I ask Lisa, Where do we go next? How should I know? And who said that they know Lily well? Was it me? Lisa hesitated. Well, sh well, she could be at the islands. She often goes there when she wants to be alone. Exactly. We had to the peeper. I come down the camp where I search for proper and boy around with the ropes. Hey! One bow was actually missing okay today is your lucky day you get to do several kill double killers assist that will build up your vanaka and trada and other arm muscles i said scarcely are you serious lisa carry a fearful glare at me well perhaps that was a little too rough ever for her all right, I won't make you. I won't make you rough, of course. That's a huge sound. Huge sound confidence. 